you're wasting all the time Another hour gone, did you hear the chime? You're wasting all the time Recorded for Thursday Do you chop your lord? 75 divided by 3 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 Plus 2 Yeah Plus 2 on my equation <laughs> See <laughs> What do I tell you? Math is always bad. <laughs> oh my god, the maths is alive and well. Welcome everybody, welcome to Wasting All the Time. We are a comedy podcast that is going through the internet with the use of technology and finding its way into your little ear holes. Your auditory <laughs> meatus, if you will. I will, mm -hmm. thank you. Oh Lovely. good, appreciate that. <laughs> now, we are... A funny funny. Uh, <laughs> and we do the improv improv, which means that except for this op this opening, which I probably should have written down and practiced, uh, <laughs> everything is done off the cuff based off of our patron suggestions. Um, now, you've heard other people, and I have referred to us as we, and I am not the queen, so it is not the royal we. <laughs> I'm not doing this by myself. Um, so I'm going to introduce them before I introduce myself. So to my intergalactic <laughs> quadrant of 45 degrees north and 80 west. It's me, Dave. <laughs> In the exact described relative position. And somewhere on the other side of a black hole that's sipping on cherry soda pop, we have... It's me, Practical Rook. Except it's not cherry soda pop, it's pure vodka. <gasps> oh, okay. Well, on the other side of black holes, they have different names for things, mm -hmm. so, you know. Cross-cultural translations happens all the time. We have so much to learn mm -hmm. from each other. Understand. We that. really do. We really do. And we do. And I am Jess. Yes, <laughs> Just Jess. Yes, Jess. Who's that girl? It's Ooh, Jess. Boy. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're listening to an episode of which I will be hosting. Mm -hmm. I thank you for listening, and you are welcome. To get us started, we are actually going to start with a little bit of a art lesson. Mm -hmm. Um, for people who uh, don't speak stuck up, that's lesson. Oh, I thought it was lesion. Are there many of no, them? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, it depends. <laughs> I mean, there could be a king in the shadows. <laughs> as long as he's not in yellow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We've exhausted our pop culture reference for the day. <laughs> It did. It's gone. It's gone. Xavier, son. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I, I want to just get us started off with a little bit of learning, a little bit of opening up our understanding of, uh, you know, things that you might look at all the time, but you don't realize it. We're going to break it down. Style it. Here we go. Art. What you want to know. Jess is going to shape our minds like Play-Doh. A to the R to the final T. Art's been around since the dawn of humanity. Marble, oils, whatever the medium. Jess is going to shout it from on top of the proscenium. Grab your notebook and make a note. Because Jess is the best. Jess is the go. Style it. Okay, okay. Now, I'm not sure if I've actually ranted about this, but I've had to deal with this quite a bit in the recent weeks. There is a freaking difference between your vector format and your raster <laughs> format, okay? And if you want to get your stuff printed nice and clean and so luscious, you better hell as heck be sending me some <laughs> vector shit because if you want your little pixelated boxes going up on the big screen, you want that pr printed on like a 20-foot a fucking banner? Okay, maybe a 20-foot fucking banner you could get away <laughs> with it because of distance of how... That's not the freaking point! The point is, is that if you want a really nice 16 by 20 an 8 by 
11, a 9 by 12, and you give me something that you pulled off of Google Images, and my God, it still has the gosh darn watermark <laughs> from the stock website you pulled it off of, I'm not gonna print it. I'm not printing it because I know what's gonna happen. It's not gonna print well. It's already illegal because it's got a watermark on it, and you're not gonna be happy, and you're gonna try and get for free and for me to fix it anyway. <sighs> So just do this. <laughs> if you want to get something printed on a t-shirt, if you want it to get printed onto a post or you want to f slap it onto a mug or a, a, a water bottle or a briefcase or I don't, I don't know, the side of a car. If you don't have a professional artist already working with that stuff, then get one. Find one. Don't do it yourself. And, and, especially when it's specialty uh, spot color printing like that, you just ask this artist that you want to hire one thing can you provide the live file and if they don't know what the fuck you're talking about do not hire them please please i can't do anymore oh, no. please <laughs> Look, yeah, you just... i i don't i don't care how it starts but if it don't end up with some compression artifacts in uh -huh. my jpeg then i don't need it yeah, you just take the raster and you upload it to one of those websites that does convert from raster to vector, and then you're set. Hold on. I think Jenga is knocking at my door to kill me. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 Breathe in and out. In and out. Just like the knife. In and well, that out. was me. <laughs> Styling it for y'all. Nice. Style. Uh, style. So, so that was the first... Style it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first segment of this show. So now we're going to move it right along to the next segment, which is called... A little something like this diddy diddy do. <laughs> that you're going to hear. That's a fun name. Right to now. <laughs> Upwards, downwards, forwards, backwards, I say we go fruit words. That's right, it's fruit words. The way fruit words works is we have one color that's red, one color that's green, <laughs> like and one of those connection. colors is an adjective, the <laughs> other color is a noun, oh. and who knows what's going to zany things happen, and I think Rick said there was a connection issue, but I still show green, no. so I'm going to believe in my internet. The colors are red and green, like your voice connection. Oh, gosh. Okay, I thought I had a delay over here. No, I'll, oh, I'll start boy, screaming howdy. with reckless abandon if that happens. Don't worry. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> um, so, you could have physical cards. We could, if we really wanted to. Or what we could do is we could use a uh, program that was made by one of our wonderful patrons, Unexampled Salt. So wonderful. To pull up our fruit words. All right. Uh, Speaking of which, if you haven't checked it out, um, there is a great website. Check out ownpersonaljust.us for all your wasting all the yes. time needs. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I forgot. All right. So our first card is astringent. Astringent. Oh. And then encasement. Interesting. Astringent is stern, austere, as an astringent type of virtue. And encasement is the act of encasing. <laughs> also, that which encases. Oh, okay. I was lost before that. <laughs> yeah. Just in case you needed to know. Just in case. Okay. This right here. This right here is the safest safe that's ever been built. Oh, well, how, never, how, never made a more safe safe. How do you mean? Uh, like, what uh, particular advantage does it have? First, the safe is very secure in itself. Okay, it's got a lot of self worth, and you can tell it does because it's got all these five little bolt, big bolt things, the big circle metal bolt <laughs> things. Second, second, it knows. It knows when to put its walls up and put its walls down, right? 
because you just need to know the combination to get in there, yeah. and then you're in. Smart. But if you don't know the combination, safe's going to keep its walls up, its wall being the door. Very smart. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. that all mm -hmm. makes sense to me as you say <laughs> Thirdly, it. Thirdly. <laughs> yeah, thirdly. Thirdly, this safe knows where it stands. <laughs> okay, it's never going to question that. Oh. It's going to it's going to believe because it's over 2000 pounds. Wow. So it, it, it ain't moving. Wow. Yeah. That's a yeah. uh... Wow, I like that. Yeah, I think uh, I think I need to act on this. It sounds like a great a great opportunity. Yeah, I'm pretty much the best safe ever. Yeah. Whoa. Oh yeah, it's also self aware. Mm. Uh, That's how it can feel good about itself. You know. Yeah, someday I'll get there. Maybe if I get well, to not... store something of value, yeah. you know, like uh, jewels or you know. Uh, priceless scientific discoveries, but I'm sure you're gonna. I'm sure you're gonna put real cool stuff in me, guy. Yeah, I uh, do yeah. have a coin collection. <laughs> it's worth a pretty penny. <laughs> uh, Is that a currency joke? Yeah, it's just a little, uh, a little jest that we, us numist mists enjoy. <laughs> oh, okay. Because we don't. I don't. I don't take cash. I need to have a paper trail. She oh. does. You're you're gonna want to follow up on that. Okay. Well, I can do uh, uh, credit. Yeah. This is you're pretty much adopting the safe. Okay. Or yeah. Personal yeah, check. Yeah. That's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the credits fine. Credits fine. Okay. Uh, this because this is pretty much you're pretty much adopting this this uh, safe. You know. Does that mean more paperwork? Yeah. There's there's going to be a lot of paperwork. There's going to be an additional interview process of which I will not be a part a part of. Um. Cause I don't do, I don't, I don't, uh, do the cycle anal babble pot. Yeah. I just get you real excited about the safe. Oh, that's great. That's great. I like that. So I'm going to, but you know, you know, I just want to make sure this is going to be a good match. So I'm going to let you two, I'm going to let you two get to know each other a little bit. I'm going to be on the other side of that mirror. Uh, just so you know, it's a two way mirror. So, uh, I will be spying on you the whole time. <laughs> okay. To make you feel as uncomfortable as possible, uh, but be as normal and as natural as possible so you get to know each other. Okay, and this is a microphone in the ashtray right here? <laughs> that is a microphone in the ashtray, and there are 12 cameras on you at all times. Oh. So. Uh, security is uh, mm -hmm. important. Uh, okay. It Ironica. really is. Your mother is also on the other side of that uh, that fake mirror. Your mother's there, oh. so I'm gonna be there with her. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh wow! Because your mother will be the grandmother of this safe, so I'm you know. Tearing up. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't uh, my mother and I have been estranged, but <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Hi there. Oh yeah. No, I know. I know. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Believe me, Thomas. I know. Okay. Now I'm gonna let you two be uh see if you get along. Thank you. Well uh hey there, so, um uh Max. Yeah, we can start with nicknames. That's fine. Max works. Maximum security, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Max, I, yeah. I appreciate you taking the trouble to to reach out and you know, make a connection. Yeah. What's uh yeah. what's your name, coin guy? Uh, honestly, I'm in shock about hearing about my mother being around that I am. Um, hmm. I'll tell you what, man. I don't just lock I, uh, up totally coins. Forgot. I lock uh, up but feelings. I know that the, uh, the show person there just said my name a minute ago, but, uh, hmm. yeah. Anyway, That's, um, uh, so I do said, have some <laughs> precious coins. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. You know, important papers, deed, uh, pink slips so forth things you might normally get a uh, security box for but um <laughs> what, oh, what would you say if someone slips. loaded yeah <laughs> yeah uh, and i guess you would um be in for some of that uh, on my passing uh you, you'd leave it to me you just met me well, I mean, if untouched? if I'm adopting you, you're you'll be just like family. Uh, wow, dang! I mean, I don't know what to say. Usually, it's just uh, 
you know, we see these other guys go and they're just holding pictures that their kids drew or like a locket of Fluffy's hair. And this is, this is big. This is, wow. There's <sighs> just one thing, Max. There's just one thing. What's that? If anybody, if any unauthorized people ever try to come in to get into the contents of you, you got to oh, lock it down. Kill okay? them. You got to lock it down. You got it. Do whatever it takes. Okay. I don't even care mm. about the, I don't even care about the ramifications of a self sentient safe doing its own self preservation activities. Wink, wink. Wow. You know what I mean. You got to lock it down. I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best. Just, I, I kind of thought we were getting off on a real, a real open foot here. And, um, Look, okay. It's just, it there's, down. there are some things in this world that you expect. You just expect it to protect you, right? You know, it's like, it was, well, no. uh, just, just like a protect my coins with a safe, right? You think, you think, oh, well, I'm, uh, my parents, they'll protect me. My mother will protect me. <laughs> yeah. You just, you just assume that. But when then it doesn't happen, it's a real disappointment, Max. Do you hear me? It's a real disappointment that with lasting effects that can really just change a life. I hear you, coin guy. Tell you what, you know, we can put your mom in the safe. Just saying. I've seen weirder things. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> I had to throw that ashtray on the ground. Good. You're Tell learning. me more. <laughs> you can see I'm only four and a half feet tall-ish, and uh, they brought your mom through here early. She has a tall drink of water. But did you know you that saw people her? can... Yeah, yeah they, yeah, they took her through... <laughs> Oh, man, talk about a Karen. Ooh. Sorry, dude. You saw dude. my mom? Yeah, yeah, she walked through. The big, the big updo. Did she say anything? You know what? You know what, coin guy? Um, Sorry. Maybe it's, maybe it's best if we don't uh, get into that right now. Sorry, yeah, no, I need to lock it down. I need to lock it down. See? Lessons from a safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have so much to learn from you, Max. Live with me. <laughs> That's the plan. Ding. <laughs> ding. <laughs> ding. Ding. Ding ding ding. You ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That was awesome. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. So I many... loved your mini monologue. <laughs> <laughs> so many fun things, the elements that were laid down for me to play with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, your mm -hmm. mom came through here and you saw my mom? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you saw her? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I saw her. What you doing? <laughs> <Say it again. laughs> Clearly, not, not done well processing his feelings. Oh, no. I hear you, Cohen guy. <laughs> uh, Did you legit say uh, his name? She, yeah. Yeah, Thomas. Jesus. Thomas. I just, Thomas. it was just in one ear and out the other. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot there was a lot i started like seeing a room and seeing so much stuff that i just couldn't stop naming it in my head so I'm like and that's there and of course this is there and that's there <laughs> anyway that was great fun and who just had a whole mise en scene we're g it was it is, it was one of those things, I think that could have turned into like a long form scene. <laughs> yes. Like if, if our other cohort was here. <laughs> wah, wah. Switch back and forth. Oh, well. <laughs> we're going to move right along from our fruit words and we're going to get to know each other just a little bit more. Mm. Starting with this little songy song. What have you been? That's right. This is the segment in part of the podcast where we are going to just touch base with each other, see what's going on in each other's lives, share that little nugget of our life to you so that you know that we are not just all funny, funny character jokey jokes. <laughs> we have hearts. We have minds. We have feelings and we have experiences just like everybody else. Yeah. And just like everybody else, those things previously listed can be wonderful or tortured, and you never know, but we're all sharing in the human experience. Probably. 
Allegedly. Because remember, <laughs> the uni- <laughs> the universe does not care about you. It too big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, truth. Uh, all right. Okay. So, uh, Dave. Yes. What you been up to? What's going on? What's the haps? Uh, a uh, couple things. A few things. Um, <laughs> I bought a chest freezer. So I have more freezer Whoa. space. Nice. And that's an adult excitement. <gasps> <laughs> but not. That's like one of those yeah. adult things you gotta like, you have to do. It's like on the adult bingo card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's on that. Uh, yeah. Bingo card is yeah. a good way of describing it. I could mark that off and maybe a couple of those will line up into a, something worth celebrating. But uh, in the end, it's just, I'm just glad it's on my card. Um, <laughs> Another thing is I got uh, my second shot. So shortly after this episode comes out, I will have been considered fully vaccinated because I think there's a couple weeks Ooh. after that uh, for this one where it's like fully mm-hmm. set in. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. a cool feeling. And I don't remember the third thing now. Hmm. <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. Mm, but, Memory uh, loss. <laughs> yeah, things are all right. Actually, oh, yeah, no, but it's work-related. I don't want to talk about work. It's, uh, yeah, okay. things, are, things are all right. What have you been doing to uh, stimulate your creative mind? Have you been drawing? Or have you been doing musics? Or um, so thank you for asking. I have had a mm-hmm. reason to dabble in the music making again recently thanks very much to a friend of mine um so i've been doing some music making oh oh yeah yeah i yeah yeah you could jess <laughs> you need a minute <laughs> sorry i just realized i wasn't trying to set up like some weird plug i was just honestly i'm like were you making more music <laughs> no that's all right <laughs> Yeah, your music is freaking awesome, though. So, Aww. like, thank you. It's it's so nice to hear it. Yeah, you're very welcome. I like making it. Good. Are you gonna Are you gonna make more? Like I, for you? So here's the thing: I usually don't have much occasion, other than like podcast stuff, um, to sit down and like sort of justify to myself that I'm gonna do it just for the sake of doing it. Um, mm-hmm. which is silly, of course, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I should, I would like to find a, a personal reason to, uh, or motivation to actually do that because I do enjoy it so much. It's just, uh, you know, time mm-hmm. intensive and it, it's always a thing of, okay, well, I have this much time. What's the best way for me to spend it? How can I not mm-hmm. do that? <laughs> <laughs> It's usually the way it goes. So, yeah. right, I get it. Yeah, um, for sure. Because I also do want to do more drawing, which I haven't done nearly as much as I had thought that I might. Um, and then I'm also mm-hmm. looking back through old photos that I've taken and thinking about how how much I'd love to go out and like do a trip to do some photography. But it's just mm-hmm. all all of these things require time, and. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could also just sit at home and watch YouTube, and that's safer. <laughs> so I mean, uh, yeah, it would be safer, but I don't know. I uh, is it safe for your mind? Whoa, Dang, sister. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's just a constant thing to work on for myself. Is uh, you know, accepting. I don't know exactly how to even frame it, but do stuff that i like it's okay i think that's i think i think you did it you're you're trying to accept that it's okay to do things that you like even though they might not be part of a hustle or a, like a super productive kind of thing in the sense of like look at look at the results of what me doing something is like physical tangible ones yeah whereas watching youtube you're still doing something. You're still being productive in a way, but you're being a productive in a way that doesn't necessarily produce like a physical thing that you can point to and be like, look what I did. Yeah. It's productive only in the sense that 
it, it I pass the time and am entertained and not thinking about other things. But uh, which is yeah, yeah, but that's important. It has its place. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh that's the meat of it. Just lots of work well, and uh, then this other fun stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Monsieur Cody. It's me. Uh, currently, my perpetual what's, what's up? my perpetual uh, waking moments are agony. So that's fun. I just got my second shot. Uh, what? <laughs> I just got my second shot oh, oh, to right be here. protected from <laughs> terrible disease. And uh, it sucks. <laughs> I feel like I've had the flu all day. <laughs> just every joint aches. Everything hurts. This like anytime I move my left shoulder, like sometimes it feels fine. And then I'll like reach into my pocket and I'll fall over crying because it hurts. No, not really. It's not that bad. Just oh, no. <laughs> so this is the price I pay for immunity. Even <laughs> and Jenny's fine. She got the same shot. I did the same date, same everything. And she's just peachy. Well, I am a. Oh, jeez. A horrific bundle of nerve endings of pain. Oof. Yeah. Wah, wah. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Womp womp indeed. That sucks. Uh, beyond that, not a whole heck of a lot. Still streaming. Still working the work. Uh, was going to start working out again today, actually. <laughs> Casey and I were like, yeah, let's go to the gym. We got yeah. it. Woke up and went, I'm never going to the gym again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never leaving this bed again. Ah! Sorry, see, I moved my arm there. I was taking it off of the hand rest. Yeah, oh no. Put it on the hand rest? No problem. Take it oh. off the hand rest? Agony. So, it's, uh, oh. as you hear my words today, know that I am suffering for your entertainment. <laughs> um, oh, fuck, something fun coming up. As of the release of this episode... It will have already happened. Uh, my parents are putting together a little mini renaissance fair in their backyard. Like, we're getting big old turkey legs. Yeah. And, like, dad Aww. is building, like, it, Casey and my dad are, are building, a like, a, a deck that kind of spirals down into the yard. Like, a, a deck walkway. Um, what? Yeah. Um, Casey and I are going to do, like, a sword fighting show. There's going to be mead. It's going to be fantastic. Like, as of recording, it hasn't happened. As of release, it will have happened. Have had happened. Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, it's 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 gonna be awesome. That's insane! Awesome. Yeah. Oh man, that sounds so cool. Should be fun. I haven't been to a fair in so, you know over a year because no one has. So it'll be nice to get back in yeah. that atmosphere, the environment, just hanging out, having fun. The weather's supposed to be like a high of eighty-one, so I'm so excited. Nice. Mm. It will be so grande. Oh, man. So that's that's the end. Oh yeah, I got a thirty eighty. Boom. I don't know if I talked about it yet. I hadn't. I got a thirty eighty. You did. Did I? I'm gonna talk about it again. I got a thirty eighty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So excited. So excited. Holiday Doc Holiday, my buddy, helped me install it and get it all looking right. And then I got more parts because what do you do when you get new computer parts? You get more new computer parts. Yeah. So I got mm -hmm. a new terabyte M2 NVMe hard drive. And yes. a 750 watt power supply up from the 650, which is kind of like the upper end of what I should be using. So mm. I'm going to be playing Dead mm. by Daylight much more efficiently from now on. <laughs> 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 MSI. Psh. All right. No, I'm just kidding. MSI is great. I got the NVIDIA Founders Edition. Very nice. Is that it? That that's it for me. Did you want to? What about you, Jess? Oh, oh me? Uh, <laughs> little old me? <laughs> little old me? Um, oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I uh, I'm still doing the streaming. Yes, um, it's so great. It's yeah. I have fun. I have a lot of fun. It's <laughs> um, the best stream. <laughs> No, no, offense. Lie. no offense to Mr. Practical Rook over here. None taken. But it uh, is. But you know, you already know, Cody. I don't really like video games all that much anyway. Unless it's cold. So night. when I tune in, I'm tuning in for you and fun in the chat more so than the content. Of sure, like fair enough. What's on screen. Mm -hmm. But with the art stream, mm -hmm. it's like. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all of that. 
plus like these amazing visual miracles oh. that happen every time. It's it's really oh. quite something. <sighs> anyway, you were saying? Yeah. You're saying uh, it's I'm fun? first gonna say that. <laughs> First, I'm going to say that uh, thank you. Thank you, Internet Connection, because I heard every fifth word of that. And oh, I boy. feel so relieved because I'm pretty sure it was a lot of compliments. And <laughs> 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 oh, thank you, Internet w Connection. Welcome back to the conversation. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I've been doing... The drawing, um, I I was really lucky as of this recording. It would have been a couple weeks ago, so we'll see, like, how much of it is had, like, staying power. But I got, like, a super raid, and mm -hmm. um, it kind of pumped my numbers temporarily up, which just, like, really helped my ego boost. It, like, it was just nice, because... I've had raids from this streamer before, and, like, I very rarely... Like, every time they would raid me, I was never prepared for it. But you never are prepared, but like more so really poorly prepared. Um, and there would be nothing on my screen. There'd be nothing going on. And, you know, some people are like, oh, there's nothing. And they just leave. This time I had nothing on my screen, but immediately started switching over to artwork. Nice. And just like was able to turn on. And like I got a lot of um, positive feedback because yes. of that. So um, it was nice to finally be on in a street in a raid <laughs> that big um because it ended up being like over a thousand people yeah it, i saw 1.1 1. 1 at it, least yeah yeah um people sent me screen caps asking what the hell is going on <laughs> like, i don't know it was so cool um so i'm doing that it was it was really cool i was very felt orgasted i'm doing that um because of the stream and because of uh the sales of some of my artwork I was able, and a little bit my my uh, the stimulus package and my tax return and blah blah blah. Um, I was able to get a new laptop. Woo! As <laughs> of this recording, as of this recording, I will still not have it. Uh, it will still be being made. Um, the company uh, had the screen on back order, but it is. A very nice laptop. It has a 3080 in it. Ooh, um, spicy. It's a, t yeah, it's a 10, 10th gen i7. I Very nice. That's got some punch to it. Uh, yeah, it's got, it's going to have 64 gig RAM oh. as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. And it has, it. it's main, both of the drives are PCIe. <laughs> the main drive is one terabyte. And I think the slave drive is going to, I think I did it at 500 gig and didn't do a full uh -huh. terabyte. Um, trying to think what else is really in it. Does it have a cool trackpad? <laughs> oh, it's got it. It's got uh, the the keys light up. It's got an RGB Ooh, yes. keyboard on it. Um, it has the <laughs> stupid fingerprint unlock thing, and I've had a computer. <laughs> or a laptop from this company before that had the unlock thing. And it just, it was the dumbest thing and I never used it. So I don't plan on using that. Yeah. Again. Yeah. It just didn't work. It really never work. Um, yeah. So there's that going on. Super exciting. Yeah. I still need to figure out how I want to sell my prints online more appropriately. Like my original artwork. And I want to start like doing stickers, not through like a third party. Mm -hmm. Um, I just can't figure, I can't make a decision on how to, like, do my shopping cart. <laughs> that's pretty much, that's, that's the drama in my life right now, if which that's is nice. the most drama yeah. in your life, I am happy use. for you. <laughs> Gee, yeah, sounds yeah. like, uh, sounds like some self-assembled hurdles. Something I know a little bit about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. There, I'm, I mean, there's others, but like everything is just in flux right now. So, but it's a good flux. So, yeah, it's, it's flux for the future. Oh, take it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yes. It, it's. I. Yeah, it's good. I'm the proud it, owner of two original artwork pieces by Jess that she did ooh. during her month, uh, March of Robots, and yeah, it's yeah. 
probably the most exciting thing that's happened all year. Oh. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. Cool. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that people have purchased them. Um and yeah. just the idea of having my original artwork like hanging up somewhere in someone's home like <laughs> just it's 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 wild. It's just wild to me cuz um I don't know. I never really stopped to consider like that is something that could be a thing. So Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glory to Jess. And all things Jess, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm getting I feel like I'm getting a lot better at the traditional artwork too, so there'll be more stuff, but Anywho Any That I think uh <laughs> that I think concludes what we've been up to. Yeah. I'm gonna put well, let's put a pause of silence for what John's been up to, because John's been up to finals. Oof. oof. Rip a oof. Chino. A big oof. Yeah, just one moment for him. Okay, that's enough of a moment. Yeah, garbage. Uh, we don't want too much dead air time on a podcast. Silence is dumb and uncomfortable. <laughs> Wait. Oy, oy. I, yeah. But yeah, let us... Let us move it right along to the next, the next segment that is sung by a choir of angels like this. Aw, uh, yeah. Welcome. Why don't you join us as we lay down the cards, find out what the fates have in store as Jess leads us through the scene foretold. That is right. We are now going to do an improv scene based off of a tarot card. In the scene foretold, I have here. Mm -hmm. No, that was an exhalation of pain. Me? Sorry, continue. Oh, oh no, Cody, no. <laughs> Too my best, Sarge. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. So I have here a deck of tarot cards. I'm going to pull from a new deck that I got called the True Black deck. I'm in love with this deck. I've loved this deck since I saw somebody else use it. I am so happy to be an owner of it. It's a vicious deck. It it it, <laughs> it is it is it is cutthroat e. I'll tell you what. So it'll be fun. What card we're gonna pull here? I will give you a description of the card. Be mm -hmm. important. What this card stands for. And I'll put it up in chat too. I'll take a picture and put it up in chat. Oh, those look awesome. Oh, these cards are so beautiful. I don't know why, but I was really I was really hoping it was gonna pull like one of the major arcana cards. It did not, but no it's still one a would very know. Big card. <laughs> No one would know, but I would know. That's and true. And I would be upset. You yeah. are someone. That's I'd be fair. upset with myself. I can take it. So we got the Ace of Pentacles. Wait. The Ace of Pentacles? <laughs> the Ace. I think. <laughs> that song doesn't really flow the same. You into Pentacle stuff, Cody? Only with yes. consenting pen Pentacle partners. <laughs> pentacle partners. All right. So. Ooh. That's awesome. The Ace of Pentacles is a head start, an investment paid off, a wealth of opportunities for material and financial growth. A gleaming gold coin floats above the mountains. Solid as a rock, this ace calls for a stable base of operations built upon trust and hard work. Behind the mountains float a hammer and axe, symbols of physical manual labor that will build up supportive foundation for the future. Above are a multitude of hanging coins, growing plentiful on vines that have been tended and cared for. Ace of Pentacles asks that the Ace of Pentacles asks for the tangible, using one's own body and power, and investing into the sensible and practical means that will bear fruit in the coming years. He's a good card. I like it. Wow, very capitalist. 
How very Rorschach of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be like monetary currency wealth. It could be it could be emotional wealth. It could be um No, I know. Health wealth. Health wealth. Bitcoin health wealth. wealth, which is technically not currency, but <laughs> 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 All right, Anderson, listen here. I've been uh, yeah. I've been running this tar pit for going on forty years now, and uh, I think it's time that uh, mm -hmm. you and I we had a little talk. See, I'm not going to be around forever. What, what do you want to talk about? Uh, you see, I'm not going to be around. You've got to be around forever. Anderson, you Anderson. need to be around forever. Anderson, I need you to be around forever. Anderson. Sir. Anderson. Sir. Anderson. Sir, I need you to be around forever. <laughs> Sir. Anderson. <laughs> Sir, I need you to be around forever. Anderson. Ever and ever. You said on the you said on my last birthday card you're gonna be around forever and ever. Don't break a promise. I did. I did say that. Uh that's actually the reason I opened the tar pit oh forty years ago. It's because tar. Holds the secret to immortality. Cards? Oh, I thought you opened the top hits because of, of birthday cards. That was a close second. The uh the oh, okay, sir. the tar printed sir. card did not take off like we thought it would. <laughs> That's true, sir. That's true. <laughs> and so, Anderson Sir, I'm gonna miss you if you if you're not gonna be here forever, never. That's that's what I wanted to talk to you about. If I cannot be here forever and ever, Anderson. But you gotta be here forever, and Anderson. <laughs> sir, sir, <laughs> sir. Anderson, sir. if I you gotta be cannot unearth or untar the secrets of immortality before this fragile human shell goes to waste, then I have but one request for you, Anderson. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna ask me what it is? What? It's kind of important. Well, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Uh, if I'd have asked you what it is, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna have to go towards it, and that means you won't be here forever, never. I mean, it's it's kind of related. I don't. That. I don't have any. I don't have any other family. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been my father and my mother and my brother and my sister and my great aunt that likes to pinch cheeks. <laughs> uh, Thought that was a phase. Yeah. If you're gone, well, if you're gone, if you're gone. The one we're gonna have. I'm just gonna have this top hit. It is a very want, dashing want, top hat, Anderson. It it, it is a, it is a very dashing top hat, but <laughs> I don't want just a dashing top hat, sir. Mm. Sir. Kids these days. It, sir, I want it, a fa I want I want I want family. I want to I want to belong somewhere. And that's why I need to talk to you, young Anderson. <laughs> sir. That's <laughs> why, Anderson. <laughs> if. The secret of immortality, Sir. Anderson. Sir. <laughs> if the secret of immortality cannot be wrested from the grips of the tar demons, then should my mortal frame expire, it will fall to you. Excuse me. To resur- what? Excuse me. Yeah, hi. Uh Who's this? Anderson, I don't know if this is your office hour right now. I was just uh, I've, I've come in I've come in from the viewing deck and uh, I was in the break room and it's uh, the vending machine's all jammed. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you if you're the why, one that why needs is to... it why, why is your hand covered in tar? Oh, this oh, that's uh <laughs> I was <laughs> I was playing with the tar, I was staring into it, mm -hmm. imagining uh, I was somewhere else. So sue me. Some, somewhere else where, young tourist? Somewhere, somewhere so, where I, I feel powerful. Mm -hmm. Powerful, you say. See, Anderson, this. And, yeah. Seth? <laughs> And then came in here and the damn vending machine's broke, so. <laughs> what is... Anyway, I don't know well, I mean, if I interrupted, sorry, but uh, just wanted some cheeses. I, I, 
I just I just think it's odd. I just think it's odd that, uh, yeah, your hand is covered in tar, and uh, and and we we're just talking about a tar demon. Mm. You know, mm. oh. Anderson has a point. Are you Sir? a tar demon? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a tar oh, demon? You're asking me if I'm a tar demon? I don't think so. Mm. Uh, I mean, occasionally I do go full body. Uh, I have a rope, though, so I can always get back out. Uh, oh, maybe he's maybe mm. he's just tar-possessed. Uh, tar-possessed. Ta ta the tar-possession well is, is an unfortunate occurrence. Mm. Not nearly as dangerous as a tar <laughs> demon, but obsessed mm -hmm, with Cheetos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Good thing he just wanted cheese it. Those two. Thank you, Anderson. Oh no. Oh, tourist. <laughs> yeah. You're in trouble. Oh no. <laughs> come, come here. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, this sorry. is very okay. important, young tourist. Uh. Okay. First, I need to. I need to know something very important. Okay. Yeah, sir. Do you pinch <laughs> cheeks? I have. Are you a cheek pincher? <laughs> I have been. I have been known to pinch and squish a cheek uh, on a niece or a nephew, time, time to time. Mm. They're just so okay, cute. Okay. Okay. Anderson. Right. Right. Okay. Sir. <laughs> what are you getting at, Anderson? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, sir. Uh, if if you if you want to leave me, if you want to abandon me. All I want is family. I can just take on the, uh, take on the Todd demon. You, you mean if I die? Oh. Right, got, right, right. I've got a backup plan now. What? I've got a converted garage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, it, I don't even have a place to sleep. Mm, yes, that, uh, the blanket, the, the plank on the tar has been getting a bit wobbly lately, Anderson. Seth? The wobbly plank on the tar. You know, I don't, uh, it doesn't look safe, so. Maybe it does, it doesn't, safe. but you said that it was good for me? You said that it would build character. It did. It's true. Oh. It's true. Character building is very important in this, the tar this, industry. This is going to give, this is going to give me a, I'm going to have a roof. Yeah, it's all up to code Four and everything. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, Separate fine. entrance. And, 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 and entrance. Look at these tar demons oh. seducing our young ones away from the tar lifestyle to their luxury and hedonism. And the plumbing. I will have my prey. What? Sorry. Uh, what was that? I'll sit back down. Hmm? I mean, I'm fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! Ding! <laughs> <laughs> he is a tar demon. <laughs> yeah. I still choose to or live with it. Zest. That was phenomenal. Yeah. Anderson, sir. Got a family. Sir. I don't care. <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> oh, he's dying. I'm gonna True have a joy. <laughs> So that's what the Ace of Pentacles oh, means. Oh my gosh. Oh, excuse me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 100% oh, what it means. Um, that is going to move us along to the final game of the evening, morning, or afternoon, whenever it is that you are listening to this podcast. So let's queue up the final song segment. It's the final Beep, boop, boop. song segment. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's do a pun game. I love pun games. Yeah, I like that. Uh, we're going to play a little crime scene quips. Um, how this game works is it's a pun game. We're going to get suggestions of what a murder weapon was. And we are going to be the investigators that are making a funny little quip about <laughs> the uh, victim with the murder weapon. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we just need a suggestion from our lovely patrons. Um, if I could get a... Uh, what is a household item that you would find in a drawer? A 
candle. Okay. Candle. Mm-hmm. So the first <clears throat> murder weapon is a candle. Is sorry, is this the format kind of where we would all be like standing on a stage and we go up to the pun, jump back, like that kind of rapid fire? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, it's a shame. Looks like he got wicked. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> you know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame. Looks like he got waxed off. Uh, <laughs> you know, this is just what happens when you when you burn it from both ends. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Maybe somebody should say something and lighten the mood. <laughs> <laughs> With boy. Uh with uh, another repeat, repeat of this crime, we're building a whole candelabra. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I think we've got enough evidence that we're going to be able to get a scent on this one. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at him! All the promise in the world, and have it just get snuffed like that. God. <laughs> You hate to see it. Look. It's the mafia targeting, putting out a lot more wax these days. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it looks like this mm. one. It looks like this one was two wicks short of a three. Three wick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Looks okay. like his Let's... luck dipped. Oh, oh, oh. no! All Is right. this yeah. yeah? Yeah. Keanu Reeves soliciting a prostitute. Uh, all these John Wicks. Oh, uh, no. Oh, damn it, Stephen. That was John a great Wick. One. John Wick would never, never solicit a prostitute. He loved his wife too much. <laughs> and his dog. And, and his, his dog. dog. I actually haven't seen the movie. Neither have I. Found the match. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, get a different suggestion. Let's, um, what is a, uh, occupation... That is not like doctor or officer <laughs> or construction worker. <laughs> cashier, construction worker. Okay. All right. So the, the person killed is a construction worker. Oof. Mm. We're going to have to start building this from the foundation up. <laughs> uh, looks like the Vic fell from a really high support system. Probably he was hammered. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> looks like this guy's final code was blue. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this one's too much for me. When we wrap this up, someone head with me to the rebar. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Jess's like, kind of subtle disapproval noises. Mm. <laughs> I love it. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out how to say this one. Um, <clears throat> it looks like this one wasn't inspected safely at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a shame to see the end of. What I'm sure was a riveting life. Oh, Ooh, that was a good one. All right, rookie, you need to see this, but it's gruesome. So, steal yourself. Ooh. <laughs> well, uh, how th- how long they've been dead? Looks like a while. Not so rosy anymore. Oh, what's so riveting? <laughs> 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 you know what? This is just what happens when Jack gets hammered. <laughs> <laughs> to have your life wrenched away from you. Oh. Uh, I'd say he was beaten to death by three, no, four men. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. We're gonna we're gonna end it with that. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, that oh. was wonderful. That was, Love that was actually. I know. Me too. I, 
at the beginning, it sounded like everybody kind of wanted to do a pun game. Everybody was punning. Pun. So, um, yeah. Punning so down the drain. Wonderful listeners. We've come to the end of the show. I want to say thank you so, so much for listening, hanging out with us on this morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever it is that you are listening to this podcast. We really appreciate it. And if there was any scene in this episode, this orange episode that you liked in particular, you can always go to the Wasting All the Time website. That's wastingallthetime.com. If you navigate the three bars and you go to contact. I try to navigate mm-hmm. the three bars. And then you and go to vote. Fuzzy after the second. Then you will be able to <laughs> then you'll be able to write down the episode number, what scene that you liked. All of those suggestions we put into mm-hmm. a poll at the end of the year and then you get to vote on what were the best scenes and then at, at the beginning of 2022 we will do a recap of our favorite of all of yours favorite scenes. And, and some you, of our favorites too, let's be honest. <laughs> and some of our favorite, yeah. They're all my favorite, Cody. Oh, Kawaii, this. <sighs> <laughs> if you were listening to this podcast and you're like, man, they're they're pretty funny. I wish I could support them. You can. You can support us on Patreon. Uh the we if you go to patreon.com, you'll find us at Timeways Pod. Or you can also <laughs> buy some of our merch uh, at the Time Waste store, which you can <gasps> access on wastingallthetime.com. If... That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you <laughs> didn't like this episode, if there was something in here that you're like, that's not right, that's rude, <laughs> well, you can let us know that too. You want to go on to Twitter... Because that's where people grieve every... They have all their grievances. It's always on Twitter. And you want to at John Hansen himself. He is our fourth cohort. He's not here right now. But he will definitely not see what it is that you talked about on Twitter. So please, please send your complaints uh, that away. <laughs> is there anything that I've missed? Uh, well... No, I wouldn't say that there is. Nailed it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Thank you so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you. Thank you for wasting all your time with us. But Bon voyage. <laughs> Bye. Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then please consider subscribing on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, or follow us on Spotify. If you really enjoyed the show, then head on over to patreon.com slash timewastepod and become a supporter of our time-wasting efforts. Now, that was a lot of things I just threw at you, so if you forget all that, just head on over to wastingallthetime.com, and there we have all the answers. There we go. There it is. Glorious. Okay. There it is. That's the one. (laughs) That's it. Is that the one? That's the big one. Oh, perfect. (laughs) It's the big one. Perf. Love it. Love it. (laughs) Okay. Here we go. Recorded for Thursday. Crumbopulu holds 27th. No. 75 (laughs) divided by 3. Shit. 2021. 2021. 2021. I'm dumb. Redo or we love it? Maybe we love it. Maybe we redo it. What's the actual date? Uh...
thought it was 27. Yeah, yeah but you, you weren't supposed to say um, it. Oh, wait. I got the date right? Yeah. Yeah. You you weren't supposed oh. to. You were just supposed I, to say the month. Damn you were it. You are supposed to make up a name for the month, and that was it. I got so caught up in the making up the name for the month that I forgot the rest of my directions. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <sighs> Just, let's, it. let's try it again. Does not follow let's try instructions. Really <laughs> Needs it. improvement. There you go. You got a. You got something for the patrons now. There we go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Welcome. Ready? Okay. Um. And oh boy, howdy, is my voice connection going from green to red to green to red to green to red? <laughs> I'm a stoplight over here. Christmas <laughs> voice. <laughs> Those yeah, colors are Have related. You been naughty or nice <laughs> this May? <laughs> what? Uh, excuse me, that's not the name of the month. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been naughty. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, 